Portugal? Yeah, it was great. It was, um, it was great to get a bit of uh, sun on the bones, take um, natural vitamin D rather than have to take it from supplements. And the facilities in the campus were incredible. So um, that was good. And the lads were excited to be back together and we, we put a good week down. Yeah, I can't believe it. Even talking to my old man yesterday, coming up on the phone, oh, it's in the Six Nations campaign. It, it just flies by, and you know, it's personally as the longer I'm in it, the more excited I'm getting. Now every every year, you know that it is coming around. It's it's an incredible competition. Um, yeah, good. Yeah, um, personally, I've been enjoying my rugby again. I've been enjoying it last couple of years now which is great and and I think having a look at the provinces I think everyone is, is buzzing and the provinces are, are doing well as well so look it's great I think all four of us in, in quarter finals of, of Europe so it's happy days Keith, what was, uh, sorry, uh, what was uh, training like uh, last week like, do you think it would be easier for you guys to hit the ground running on just Saturday you know, based on yeah, obviously the f- the first time getting together is always a bit a bit scrappy, but we started sharp. We we burned out a few things, and the plan was to kind of get ahead of schedule so we can hit the ground running uh, in the afternoon when we go out. And we've done that. We're we're all over our detail. We just had a, a gym session there, so we're itching to get to get on the field and um, you know hit the, hit the ground running into a massive week. Yeah, I looked at they, they, they didn't have much to improve on, you know. I think they've they've had a couple of I suppose rocky results in the last couple of years. Um yeah, I, I don't know why people think all of a sudden that they've gone downhill a small bit, they're still top quality side, um you know, narrowly losing to to New Zealand in November and a couple of good results in November and look we we know what to expect from them. It's always a massive physical game like you know and um, we're definitely not looking at their form you know of the past we, we know that what they're well capable of and as I said we've seen it in November and it's going to be a massive game yeah they're I think Mako is one of uh, a, a loose head how he's able to ball play he brings that extra dimension for them and and Billy does what he does best. He he runs over fellas, and he's quite physical. But I think as a whole, I know they're talking about physicality, and it's not new when you face England, or it's not new for Six Nations. It is going to be physical no matter who you play, and that's what we're expecting again on on Saturday. Yeah, I've been quite open about that. Yeah, no, I think every game we play in is brutal and physical because we're it's 15 men trying to kill another 15 men within the rules of the game, you know, and yeah, I wouldn't get too bogged down on it. It's, I always expect a game like that to be brutal, brutally physical, and as I said, they are expected to be brutally physical against Scotland, Italians, and, and the, the Welsh as well, so if it's not known, maybe it's just the two coaches, but us on the field will always, will always know it's going to be brutal. Keith, um, Joe has spoken in recent weeks about you know maybe pointing out errors that he's seen in games in the past, maybe in games that Ireland have won. Has that been a focus just to make sure that you really are switched on because it would be so easy to get caught out by England in this first game in the Six Nations? Yeah, we're, we're always looking to improve um, and teams are always analysing and you know it's amazing when you when you have a look at it, the small margins that will win you a game. And you know, even though we've we've had a good November, we kind of we had a slow start against, I suppose Argentina. We kind of made a couple of mistakes, and you know the plan is, and I suppose over training in Portugal this week, we just get, make sure and get the detail right so we can can have a fast start. And I suppose English don't catch us catch us on the the hop, you know with. Because I think this this game is is massive momentum wise, and I heard a lot of the coaches talking about momentum and momentum going out through the the whole Six Nations. But I think 
you know, learning learning your detail and getting them as a small as a, a small bit of a percentage. If you see where there where there might be a small bit weak, is massive. When you look at England, how their clubs have gone in Europe this year, you know the English rugby's taken a bit of a battering over last year too, and they underperformed in the Six Nations last year. Is it possible for them to have a response to all that and to really come out and you know possibly beat Ireland if you're not in your game? Yeah, of course, there's their top quality side. Um, you know, just looking at some of the, the back three they've picked, and it's hard to believe that one or two of them are going to miss out in selection. They're the world class players. Um, I think with the the Vanapola brothers coming in as well, like look, I think they're going to have threats all over the field, and we are going to have to to start strong, not like we did in the last couple of years where we kind of had a slow start or. Johnny Sexton kick getting us out of trouble, you know, and I suppose that puts a lot of pressure on ourselves as well. And look, we're aiming to start to start um, on a high, but we know what the challenge that's in front of us is massive. Keith, is it different facing the Six Nations when it's a World Cup here? Um, no, not personally, not really. For me, it's it's another competition, another massive competition, and. I don't like to look too far ahead, and my concentration at the moment is to to get selected and 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 uh, focus on England. We were talking about the fine margins there. I know the past we spoke about working with Keith Barry and visualization last year. So, is there anything you're doing at the moment just to give you that a little bit extra? No, just doing what I've been doing the last, I suppose, eighteen months. Um, so I found a routine now that works for me, and um, I've been enjoying it. What's key to that? Yeah, it's just I suppose leaving no stone unturned, you know, making sure the body's right, the homework is right, and I suppose being able to look myself in the mirror after a game, win, lose, or draw, and say there's not much more I could have given there. Keith, you said about how physical the game is going to be, and to beat them though, we need to outsmart England. Um, yeah, I think that I think that's what teams try to do. Is that's why we come up with moves is try to to outsmart them. Um, Obviously, you can't outsmart them if you're not physical. If if the feeder team has a physical dominance, you know I think that's where it starts. Whether it's from set piece or or the, or the breakdown, you know if you if you don't win any of them, then you don't get an opportunity to to throw the moves, throw moves at them. So yeah, obviously it's it, it's quite important to outsmart them. But it, I think it's all going to come down. It's amazing how much of the basics wins you these big big games as well. Is this the most assured confidence Six Nations are in the first part of? Um, you know, we we've been on a good roll, like you know, but we we'll never get too carried away of ourselves. As I said, we we still have lots to work on. Um, we had a lot of mistakes in in November, and look, we we're just trying to keep building and build towards a, a perfect performance, which is which is probably impossible. But we we build towards it, and and hopefully that will be enough to get us a result. Just the word on Stockdale, you know, we did last year. Do you feel there's much more to come from him this year? Yeah, and he's he's doing it with Ulster as well. So you know, it's it's great to see him carry on that form. You know that it it, it wasn't just a kind of was a, a first se- season thing. Uh, uh, I know people talk about second season syndrome and everyone gets to know you and teams start to mark up in you, but he seems to keep doing it. So it, it's great to see him in the form he's in. Um, Especially, he had a bit of an injury at the start of the season and he's just exploded again, so it's great to see that. And Keith, it's uh, Joe's last year, obviously in charge of Ireland. We know how determined the drill he is to win games. Do you get a sense that he's even more so this year because it is his last year in charge? Yeah, no, and Joe's always been driven to, to win a game. I, I don't even think Joe's thinking about past England, never mind what he's going to do after his, his widows. Like he's, he's always driven and he's he's driven a lot of us to win every game as well and be the best we can be so it's 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 no different on Joe's side either Joe mentioned the newspaper over the weekend uh, Keith about the training sessions have been spied on in the past were you aware of that ever any spies out in Portugal you can't you no not that I can not that I could see anyway there's a bit of a canal in soccer as well so I think everyone's getting a bit paranoid